Uh, no, it'll be funnier if I try to grab it. All right, hang on. You can't use the gimbal because there's a piece of foam in it. Oh, boy. Keep it steady, Grand. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Ah! Ah! I got it. I got the foam. Oh, vampire's here. Hey, what's up there little grinderinos? Welcome to today's videos, good guy with the drone. Today, I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when a bad guy with the drone tries to cause harm upon your community and how only a good guy with the drone can take out that bad guy. I get too excited about my intro tonight. This is a very emotional, this is a very serious topic for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, I unplugged my mic. Now for today's bad guy drone, um, this company, Potensic, Potensic hit me up and they're like, do you want to review this drone? And I was like, absolutely not, man. Anytime one of these Amazon companies hit you up to review a drone, they're usually pretty shitty and not worth the price. This is $250. Now, upon researching this and trying to get it to work, I noticed a few YouTubers did a review on this and they said it was really good. And I'm, wait, I'm like, you get, really? Do you see the gimbal on this? The gimbal is rubber bands. The gimbal is plastic and rubber bands. There's nothing, to, this is like the cheapest little piece of shit drone I've ever seen. Like everything about this just looks really bad. How did you give it a good review? Oh, you have an a fucking affiliate link. You have an affiliate. Hang on, let's do this again. This is the best drone I've ever seen in my life. There's an affiliate link below. If you don't buy this right now, we are not friends anymore. But you know, I don't want to bag on Potensnick too bad for preying upon you with an overpriced fucking drone. I do appreciate them sending it. They're never going to send me anything again. So we might as well fucking destroy this, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to pretend this drone is the bad guy. And we're gonna have the drone fly and try to get to the good guys here. And we're gonna have one of us take out this drone in the air to see if it's possible to use your FPV drone to deter bad guy drones. Now, to really get you emotionally invested in this and to set the stakes, the bad guy drone here, here, what do you care? Okay, so if you're a liberal, this bad guy drone is affordable healthcare. And if you're a conservative, this drone is anything with a rainbow on it. So there we go. Now that everybody's emotionally invested, half of you are mad at me. We're gonna fucking destroy this drone with our FPV drones. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do the test. This is for National Airspace Defense Test purposes we're gonna see can a good guy with an FPV drone take out a malicious aerial photography DJI style drone all right that's what the test is in case it wasn't clear I feel like uh, I got really high and rambled for a long time and didn't make it clear so here we go can you a concerned citizen use your FPV drone to take out a potential threat of a DJI style drone All right, so Vampire wasn't able to take it out. Nope. Grand was too wily, so now Izzy's up. Tread oh shit, split ass into the drone. Not bad. Yeah, that drone is, that drone is wiggly. Oh, here we go. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, clipped it, you clipped it. You got 30 seconds, 30 seconds on that timer that I just made up. Oh, it's going down, it's down, Izzy did it, there you go, and that's, that's how you protect yourself and your family from a bad guy drone. We got taken out, let's, let's see this damage. Holy shit, I don't know, oh boy. Yeah, my, oh shit, all you did was bend an arm. Not really? Yeah, the arm bent right back because it's collapsible, uh oh. All right, see if, it'll, see if it'll take off. Oh, oh, it's still up, wow. All right, wind chill, so, uh, Vampire missed it. Izzy was able to bend an arm back. Do you think you'll be able to protect your freedom from this drone with your drone? I have to. I don't know if uh, I don't know if the camera has caught that, but the drone did a whoop whoop. What the fuck? Whoop whoop. Pretty hilarious thing after wind chill hit it, but it's still fine. It still flies. Are you kidding me? So the gimbal, what happened there? Gimbal got a little bit messed up, but that doesn't matter. You can still deliver whatever kind of nefarious payload you're trying to deliver with this thing. It still flies. It. This is actually uh, lasting a lot longer than I thought it would. But now it's my turn. I'm up, and I got my demi bot where the fuck it went, and it's wherever the fuck it went. Oh, I thought Grandma was gonna hand it to me, honestly. Wherever the, where the fuck it went, I got the Demi bot. I'm gonna take this shit out. I'm gonna f just full speed. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna fucking destroy it. I think, maybe, hopefully, check this shit out. Pause recording, right? Grant? Yep. All right. Oh my God. What happened? Why did that touch me? Why did that hit me? 
Oh my god. It just did its own, it did its own thing. Yeah, whatever, Green. Why are you trying to kill Bob, bro? <laughs> it did its own thing. Damn. Damn. Try it again. He's going Try it again. Back. What the fuck? It did its own thing. This thing is dangerous. We It must be destroyed. Oh Take off. Do it. I'll kill it right where it stands. Shoulder out. Smack that Try to go me. forward, yeah. Please, not in front of me. Yeah, yeah right? There we go. Try to get it to the. I'm max, uh, I'm max four six. Yeah. Still it. Oh, that was sick. Might want to watch out. Yeah. Did I get it? Is he? It done. It done. Come on, I got tea bag. I got tea bag it. <laughs> oh, tea bag me. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I did it. I did it. I broke this fucking. Oh wait. Oh no. Is this broken? Dog, it might still work. Oh my gosh. It might, and all I did was crush an arm like you did, but the battery came out. Fucking oh, die! God damn it, it won't die. Let me, okay, let's see if it flies. Off, try it. Shut the fuck oh, up! No, nah, man, what are you doing? All right. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Take off now! <laughs> Nice. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so um, oh well, I guess here, well, there's a lesson here somewhere. Here you, here you go, Grand. You can keep this for helping me film. Thank you. Appreciate you, buddy. I'll solve that. Well, yeah, a little duct tape. Uh, that was it, class. All right, little grinderinos. Well, I talked a big bunch of dump truck full of shit on this drone, yet we were unable to take it out with our freestyle drones. I think the moral of the story, the lesson here, kids, is you know, with all this fancy technology we have in life and everything, it doesn't beat brute strength and violence. So if you ever have an issue in your life, don't rely on technology too much. Rely more on violence. Is that the lesson? That's probably not the lesson, huh? That's the, lesson. That's the worst lesson. Derek didn't work. I'm a fucking drug addict. Actually, I had pneumonia the entire time we did D.A.R.E. at school, so I missed the entire D.A.R.E. program, and I blame that on my issues. All of them. Some of them my dad. All right, so wait, we already did that. Between you and me, I got really high, and I kind of forgot what I was doing. Oh yeah, we're at this, here's what we're gonna do. We found this fuck, is that a cat? All right, so we're at this parking garage. We're gonna fly drones around the parking garage. I have a very, very special treat for y'all. Oh, hang on, let me go get it. If you haven't heard, I have a brand new three and a half inch quad coming out, the Grinderino. It's basically just a mini Demi-Bot, and oh, here it is. You wanna see it? All right, so I'm going to show everybody right here the first look. This, oh my God, it's so cute. Look at this. This is a three and a half inch Demi-Bot quad in production now. You'll be able to get this pretty soon. Aren't you glad I showed you that sneak peek of it? Wow. Just kidding, I blocked it out. Oh shit. Maybe I'll put that part in. I was ripping it earlier and I fucking fucked up the props. So I got to switch props, but I'm going to show you right now real quick, just a little rip of the Bot Grinder Grinderino three and a half, three and a half inch ripper quad. That's right. Look, what the fuck is that noise? All right, I decided to narrate it. Hi, here I am. Let's narrate this rip. Look at this little mini bot fucking tester. Um, I decided not to change the props because I didn't feel like it. And these props kind of suck. They're kind of bent up, but excuse the wiggling and wobbling. This quad actually flies really fucking good. Really fucking smooth. I just didn't want to change the props. Where am I? Oh, I'm behind this building. It's okay, so three and a half. If you've never flown a three and a half, dude, they feel like five inch. Like it's, I'm gonna say the closest you can get to the feeling of flying a five inch, except maybe a little bit floatier if they're light, you know what I mean? But this thing, dude, this is an absolute ripper for the fucking size. I love this shit. This is maybe my third pack on it overall, legit. But I've not felt limited flying a swoop shit, a three and a half instead of the five, you know what I mean? Like you can do all your fucking tricks on this. It's just on a smaller scale. I get a little bit of a longer battery too on this. There's a few little benefits, uh, mainly being it flies anywhere, dog. You can fly this shit anywhere. Like a five inch may be a little bit too big to fly in the parking lot of Home Depot or something, but a three and a half, you could, you could fly this anywhere you want. No fucking problem. Anybody that looks at it's gonna be like, oh, look at that little toy. No fucking deal. Anyway, look at this shit. Look at me go. Rip in a three and a half inch quad. Like it's a five inch. Get yours today. Oh wait, you can't get them today. Get yours soon. They'll be out soon. I don't know when. Um, they're going in production very soon. So you can you, backwards wall ride. So Whoa, say, shit! What the fuck's going on? How long have you been here? So would you say that three, three and a half inches feels a lot like five? Um, yeah, I'd say. You know what I mean? Oh my god, is there a bee on me? There's a bee on my neck, isn't there? Oh my god, what's on my left neck? Is that a fucking bee? I'm gonna cry. No. Is there anything on me? Okay, no. good. 
<laughs> I fucking knew the bee would come during this. But yeah, no, I don't think I can feel the difference between three and a half and five. Maybe a little bit in the end, you know what I mean? Like once you really get into it, you could, oh, I crashed. So you're saying size doesn't matter? Nah, it's about how you use it. All right, so that's the micro, but nope, I don't like this camera angle. All right, so, nope, come here. All right, so that's the micro. You're going to be hearing a lot more about it very soon, but basically it's a three and a half inch mini demi bot that has a 25, 25 all in one mounting. You can fit walk snail, HD zero analog, and DJI 03 in the back. While I may not fly DJI or care for their business practices, I know a lot of you enjoy that shit and I don't want to be a bitch. So this frame is going to be able to fit any system you want because you like that system, you go fly that shit. Buy my shit. God damn it, so where'd you go, Rand? I was gonna use this as my backdrop. What? So in real life, I haven't actually, wait, no, wait a minute. What is, what is, let's talk about this. What is real life? All right, so in real life, I've just been flying with everybody and having a good time and I totally forgot to vlog. So that's why I'm doing it now, just in case this video needs some filler. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna fly my drone some more. So here we go, yes, Vampire? Bro. Vampire has something that's important to tell you. Here, it's gonna tell Pizza him. Hut only does takeout now. Okay, we were talking about Pizza Hut earlier and I was like, man, they're ready to be buffets. They only do takeout. I, what is the point? What is this all about? Izzy, what has this been all about if not Pizza Hut? What have we been out here for the entire time if not to get Pizza Hut, Izzy? Pizza Hut. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Pizza, pizza. P pizza, pizza. That's Little Caesars. Now we're just going off on a tangent. All right. There it is, there it is, buddy.
Oh, hi there. I'm back at my house, and it's incredibly fucking hot in here because I have no AC, so let's get right to the Patreon shout-outs. A big, big thank you this week to Billy Hackett, Boris the German, Fly Tribe Magazine, Fred805, I Only Fly, Gorilla Link, J-Rod FPV, Marcella FPV, Patty Cakes, Rick James FPV, Rupert FPV, Stompy FPV, Trent TT FPV, Tuan Solo, Volleytronics, Walm FPV, and Wolf FPV. Hey, thank you very much for being my top-tier patrons this week, y'all. If you want to get your name read, if you want to watch my videos first and get a bunch of other benefits, go to patreon.com forward slash buckrinder today. Alright, this video's getting long, so I'm gonna go, but that's how uh, the good guy stops the bad guy with the drone or something. I don't fucking know, man. I just wanted to smash drones into drones, so I did, and this is what we got. I promise next time we'll be better. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, no, nobody's flying it. It's just kind of doing its own thing. That's what they do. Hey, uh, just let the FAA hate these.